Hello, this is Amin, and you are watching session six of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this session, we are uh, going to talk about uh, environment variable, and we will show you where you can set this variable. Uh, also, uh, I talk about uh, hosting environment and uh, describe uh, different uh, hosting uh, environment stage. Uh, you can set environment uh, variable in uh, launch setting uh, JSON file. Uh, we already introduced this file in uh, session five of uh, our uh, tutorial uh, videos, and you can watch this uh, video if uh, you are not familiar with this file. Uh, also, you can set uh, this variable in operating system, the same as Windows, Linux, Mac OS, or uh, any different uh, operating system that you have. Also, you can set this file uh, in a web server, in your web server. And uh, let's flip to Visual Studio. Uh, okay, let's open uh, launch setting. Uh, JSON uh, file. Uh, you can see uh, our uh, profile. Uh, we have IIS and uh, we have our application name profile, which when we run our application with this profile from here, uh, it looks uh, you run your application with Visual Studio command line. And also, if you remember, we created one uh, new profile for running or project uh, with IS web server. Uh, but as you can see, uh, here is the place that environment variable uh, is uh, defined and you can set your environment uh, variable here and this is the, uh, the this is the environment variable that uh, show uh, the hosting uh, stage and hosting level by default it is on uh, development and uh, so let's continue with a startup class and uh, here the file that we changed in the previous session to see the process name. Let me comment this uh, section and copy uh, this uh, code and paste it. And uh, we want to see our environment variable. As you can see, we have iWeb host environment and uh, this uh, abstract uh, class uh, will uh, talk about uh, hosting environment and if we want to see our uh, hosting uh, environment we can uh, write uh, this variable and you can have access to application name content uh, root file provider, but the uh, method that we need is environment name. Let's save it and run our application with IS Express. Uh, just uh, we can set, uh, we can check once more. It is a development and we should see uh, development uh, in our uh, browser. Let, let me start the project. And here you can see the uh, hosting environment that uh, we have. Let me uh, stop it and change this environment to uh, a staging. I will describe uh, this uh, a stage of hosting uh, in little bit. And let me run the project again. And you can see the, uh, the hosting uh, 
environment change to a staging. Okay, let me uh, comment uh, this uh, variable. And run the project again to check the default value of uh, uh, operating system environment variable. It is production because in production mode, uh, the application is more uh, secure and uh, the code encrypted and the client doesn't have access to uh, uh, critical information. Okay, and this is the uh, uh, predefined value by operating system. And uh, let back to our uh, slide. Uh, we are going to uh, set this environment in our operating system. I'm using Microsoft Windows, and you can uh, uh, open uh, run command and uh, uh, in uh, this box, uh, right control and press enter key. And here, write environment. And you can uh, edit your system environment variable here. Then click uh, uh, environment variable. And let me uh, create uh, one uh, variable with this name and I change its name, uh, its value to development. Let me save it. and close all the boxes. And if you want to reflect this uh, variable on your application, you need to restart your uh, Visual Studio uh, once. Let me close it and open it again. And while it is uh, still uh, common and let me run my uh, application once more and you can see now the value of uh, uh, value of uh, environment variable uh, from uh, operating system uh, apply uh, on or uh, application Okay, the third place that you can set uh, variable, uh, environment variable on your application is uh, your web server. If you remember, I already uh, deployed this application to IIS. Let me this time run this application uh, with IIS profile and it needs uh, another uh, restart. Let me run again my application with uh, IAS profile. And refresh the uh, uh, URL that we assigned for IAS uh, profile. You can see again uh, the uh, default of uh, IAS web server is uh, production, same as uh, our operating system. If you want to change uh, this variable in uh, your uh, IIS, it uh, needs to go to IIS. And uh, where your, uh, appli your application is deployed in the virtual uh, folder, you need to go to configuration uh, editor and from this section you should go to the uh, system web server asp.net core and from uh, this item environment variables you can edit this item and add new uh, variable and paste it here and this time I 
set the value as a staging. Let me close it and apply the changes and uh, refresh the uh, application URL again. And you can see it changed uh, to uh, a staging, the value that I set in my environment variable in uh, my IIS uh, web server. Let back to Visual Studio and resume the line that we commented uh, previously and save it and run the project again with uh, IIS Express. I want to check uh, which uh, variable and value override to another one. Uh, this is the variable that I set in uh, line setting JSON file. It is a staging and if you remember in our operating system we set it as a development. Let me run project once more by uh, IIS Express profile. And you can see the variable that uh, I set on uh, launch setting JSON file override to operating system. And uh, the uh, priority of uh, this file is uh, uh, more than operating system. Uh, let back to our uh, slides and uh, talk about hosting environment. Uh, generally, uh, development uh, teams and development uh, company uh, separate their uh, development process to uh, three uh, different uh, hosting environment. Uh, development uh, stage, which is for day-to-day -day development work, and uh, in this uh, stage, uh, we need to uh, check and debug our application and no need to use minified CSS and JavaScript uh, file. In this uh, stage, uh, we will use uh, from development uh, exception page, which uh, provide us with detailed uh, technical information. And when uh, we finish development stage, we are going to a staging uh, hosting environment. Uh, this uh, step is uh, we try to uh, provide a web application with uh, quality of production stage. And we check the issues of uh, deployment uh, of our software uh, in this stage. Also, no need to use minified uh, uh, CSS and JavaScript file. We uh, upload non-minified CSS and JavaScript file. And uh, we use user-friendly uh, exception page in this stage. And uh, no troubleshooting and uh, debugging will uh, uh, apply in this stage. When we make sure about uh, deployment and uh, all the steps and quality of our application, we are going to production stage. Uh, in this stage, uh, we use uh, minified CSS and JavaScript files because we need uh, more security and uh, more performance. And also in this page, we should use a user-friendly exception page and no developer exception page because if we use uh, the provider exception page, uh, we reveal some uh, technical information to the user that it's not under understandable and also malicious uh, uh, user can use this information to hack or software. Uh, that's it in uh, this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe uh, this page for further videos and also uh, follow us in our uh, social uh, media accounts. Also, you can be in touch with us through the uh, accounts and contact form in our website.